Hi, I'm Holly G. Green, the architect of PAUSE, thinking to thrive expert and author of Using Your Brain to Win. In today's markets, there are two basic kinds of innovation, incremental and disruptive. Incremental innovation is the process of making small improvements to existing products or services. It involves minimal risk and the payoff tends to be moderate to low. Disruptive innovation involves creating a new market and value network that eventually displaces established market leading firms, products and processes and alliances. It doesn't necessarily mean betting everything on one new product or service, but it does require taking a lot of risk and if you succeed, the rewards are high. The biggest problem with incremental innovation is that it doesn't provide much of a competitive advantage and it rarely delivers enough value to create market leadership. The biggest problem with disruptive innovation is that most companies are not set up for it. So they don't reward risk taking. They focus more on maintaining the status quo and they use internal ideas rather than seeking customer input or ideas from outside their industry to produce just slightly better versions of existing products. Disrupting an industry requires a very different approach that starts with looking at the world and your business differently. If you decide to go for a disruptive strategy, gather your team and ask the following questions. What processes do we have for understanding our customers' changing needs? What processes do we have for gathering data outside our usual sources? Do we know how to suspend our assumptions and explore new ways of looking at the same old things? How do we determine the value of new ideas? How do we know if a new product will add value to our customers? Have we provided the tools and training for employees to think differently, to truly offer innovative ideas? Do we punish or reward risk taking in our company? Do we have systems in place for tracking and rewarding our innovation process? Disruptive innovation also requires talking to your customers a lot. And that's because it solves problems for them in radically new and different ways. In fact, it often solves problems customers don't even know they have or can't clearly articulate. So ask good questions and then listen closely. Next, let go of what you think you know about your business. The more you're absolutely positively sure you know what customers want, the harder it is to come up with new ways of adding value. To clear this hurdle, hold regular assumption inventories where your team makes a list of your organization's givens or absolutes and then examines that data and whether it still supports them. To expand your data sources, track demographics and trends that have nothing to do with your business. Pay attention to how other industries are getting blown up and discuss how those lessons might apply to your own. Stay alert to new technologies that could remove existing barriers to entry in your industry and who might jump in once those barriers have fallen. Finally. Pause from time to time and ask my favorite question, what if? Get away from all of the daily distractions and simply let your brain wander a bit. Let it roam free. You'll be amazed at what you can come up with once you fill it with diverse data. If you don't disrupt your industry, someone else will do it for you. And it's a lot more fun and rewarding to lead the way rather than play catch up.